Marvel Spider-Man 2 New Game Plus update gave us access to quite a few different features. Obviously, New Game Plus itself, new Ultimate Difficulty, alongside uh, Golden Gadget styles, which I don't know about you guys, I, <laughs> I didn't really notice too much of a difference there, like it's cool, but yeah, Mission Replay is cool, right? Sutek Fusion's alright, which, you know, it's fun, but... Like I said, mission replay and time of day options are probably the biggest things that we got out of this update. However, some people think that there's some things still missing in this game. And that is fairly true, right? Like, there could always be more added. Now, this video isn't me complaining or anything like that. Like, I'm perfectly happy with what we've got. I just like kind of bringing some attention to these things and seeing what everyone in the comments says. If you guys agree with this, then let me know. Now, one of the things that I wish was added, right? Like, if you guys remember, or if you even know this exists, there's a really cool Symbiote Spider-Man uh, figure, right? That's coming out, or it's come out already, I'm not too sure. And it's him in his Symbiote suit with the spider arms coming out. But the spider arms have this, like, really cool uh, detail on them where they actually have bits and pieces of the symbiote tendrils kind of going up the arms and i thought that was really cool and i wish that that was in the game itself now i don't know if they forgot or if this is just like a completely different thing that was exclusive to the actual like figure or whatnot but it would have been a really cool detail and it would have you know kind of made it more seamless to use some uh, iron arm moves with the symbiote tendril moves it would have been really fun to kind of switch around back and forth and because a lot of suits in the game itself actually have um their own like iron arms and things like that it would have been a really cool mix up to have this as a feature when you use it with the symbiote suit because then it would have its own style right nothing that would have been awesome however they could add in a future update but at the same time it could just be one of those things where it just really wasn't thought like through too well, which is okay. Like I said, I, I'm not really complaining about that. I just think it, it'd be a pretty cool feature, right? Then we have the other thing, which is a lot of people are disappointed that there's there's a specific scene from the gameplay trailer that was a fake out, right? And obviously this was just the gameplay trailer kind of getting people hyped up and it was Peter bursting out of Connor's house uh, well, Dr. Connor's house, and then the suit kind of goes over him and morphs over him to transition into the gameplay. It was one of the most hyped things that was revealed back when they were really hyping up Marvel Spider-Man 2, and I can agree 100%, like, this was insane. And a lot of people are wondering, why can't you kind of either swap between the suits or have this kind of be the case in, in like, transitional gameplay? In the cutscene where you actually see the symbiote go over the suit and i think that this was just like a specific thing that they had for this one mission like they built this and then they scrapped it later because it would probably conflict with new game plus i suppose but it would have been really really cool to have this like i'll, I'll, I'll play a clip here where you can see this is from the channel gamer uh gameverse and let's watch this so you can see the symbiote transformation here going back and forth trailer and release and you can see this like symbiote kind of go over him versus in the release where it's just a static symbiote and i feel like this would have been a really cool thing to have as a feature and it is quite unfortunate i mean let's look at it just one more time in slow motion and let me know if you wish this was the case in the game because this would have been so cool to see this with different suits and things like that because they already have the animation where it kind of morphs and that's the case in the game as well through quite a few different cutscenes this suit kind of morphs over it and it would have been quite interesting to see then we have another thing with new game plus and this is kind of like a complaint that a lot of people are having and i gotta admit it was like is a bit jarring for me too but at the same time it's just one of those things where new game plus is the limiting factor when it comes like this is how new game plus works if you want new suits here then this is the sacrifice you have to make and it's in a mission uh where spider-man pretty much dies and he gets the symbiote suit the symbiote suit goes over him and it morphs 
and then it's just back to his regular suit. <laughs> I did this with the Raimi suit the first time, and it was the funniest thing to me because it's like all this epic build up. You see this the symbiote kind of go over him, and then he's just in his regular outfit. And he gets up, he's like, What? <laughs> it looks like the symbiote kind of went under his costume, which, dude, that would be so uncomfortable and gross. I don't even want to think about that. But yeah, so that's like a minor complaint a lot of people are having. Now, there's like two ways to really solve this. One is to not have New Game Plus, like the ability to not be locked into suits. Or the other thing is just put on a symbiote suit prior to this or something along the lines of like That's realistically the only thing I could see working here. Otherwise, what you see is what you get. And that's just kind of how it is. You, you got to accept little flaws and things like this in order to enjoy not being locked into the Miles Morales original suit. <laughs> But on the other side of things, one of the really cool things, and, and I don't know why people are complaining about this as well, is when you're in the mission where you actually remove the symbiote suit, you can have any suit under it. And some people are saying that it ruins the game because you can put the actual, the, the suit that he's trying to remove, you can put under. If anything, that's just funny. People have made clips of that being like, Peter can't get rid of the suit. And I think that's hilarious. And it's really cool that we can even put the Raimi suit under, the amazing suit, uh, Tom Holland suits. I've, I've done variations of all of those. And I think that that is fantastic and really, really enjoyable. So I've got no complaints there. I think that <laughs> we should focus on other things such as bug fixes and maybe getting more comic suits and Marvel Spider-Man remastered suits for Peter back in the game. Otherwise, Marvel Spider-Man 2 really seems to be fine for the most part and I think that a lot of this is just being kind of blown out of the water and isn't too much to complain about, especially now that we finally got the ability to have our suits not be locked in i don't see a reason as to really complain about it it's just what it is it's how new game plus our suits work you get to switch whatever you want and sometimes there might be glitches and that's just how it is you know there's another thing that we could quite possibly see in a future update for marvel spider-man 2 because they're not done just yet they are accepting a lot of different bug fixes and things like that that people you know are kind of giving them and feedback as well and one of these is what if we could select what suit we could wear when in search mode and this was posted on the spider-man ps4 subreddit and i kind of agree now obviously the person said that excuse the poor editing and that's okay you know not everyone is the best at editing and things like that it gets the point across and uh, it would be really cool as as a feature right to be able to select what search suit you want so you could kind of mix and match whichever one you want so instead of the anti-venom one you could put on the symbiote uh version the the suit style that looks like anti-venom right so you can kind of do whatever you want really and that would be quite cool and ideal genuinely it really would and alongside of that it would be really cool if we could select the tendril colors as well to be automatic to what you know search suit you have so let's say you have the carnage styled uh symbiote suit right what if when you select that and you're in the game then the tendril colors are also right i think that'd be really cool but i don't know how much work goes into that um so that could be a little bit tough i don't know but it would be quite a welcome update i would really like to see something along the side like along the lines of that but yeah, so let me know as well in the comments below if you guys want to see something like that as well. I'm really excited and waiting for news to do with either Marvel Spider-Man 2 DLC or additional content because we all know there's still more suits coming and things like that. And the DLC teases have been insane in terms of just in-game alone, like the plots that have just kind of been left hanging. And that's not even talking about the third game as well. And before I do end the video, I want to say... A huge congratulations to our boy Naji for taking home the BAFTA first performance as Miles Morales. Absolutely well deserved. Miles was the goat in this game. And I'm really glad to see Naji getting the recognition that he deserves. So that is awesome. And I couldn't be more happy to hear that. So yeah, let me know your thoughts on this video. If you're new to the channel, make sure to drop a like and subscribe as well. And what new features would you want to see added to Marvel Spider-Man 2 as well? And if you've encountered any bugs, just leave the comments down below. Watch another video here. Have an absolute wonderful day. Peace.